where's Waldo? Hey, at least I'm not paying for studio time. What's up, my friends? It's c 3 and welcome to part two of how I write a song. Uh, and this is the recording segment of how I write a song. So I have done a lot of brainstorming. In fact, a lot more brainstorming than I actually showed in that last video. Um, but essentially, I have come up with a, uh, a chord progression from start to finish for the song and I'm kind of stuck on what I want to do with drums. I, I think I do want to introduce acoustic drums into the song, but I do want some like more, I don't know, like samples or something to be used. Well, I have actually gone through and added the piano. I've got a synthesizer as a bass. And again, because I'm a little bit at a loss of what to do on the drums, uh, I'm hoping that I get a little bit more inspiration once I start figuring out some other parts. So right now I want to do the guitar. So far, all I really have are those ideas that I came up with in the last video while I was uh, sitting at the piano. So what I'm gonna do is just start playing through the song and recording my guitar. Then I'll go back and listen to it and see what stuff would work for the song. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if I, that part that goes really high, if I can play it right. I don't know if I want to save that for like the last chorus to kind of add a little extra oomph to it. Um, I don't want to overuse it. I think it's cool, but if I throw it in all three choruses, I would probably make it not so special. So while I was listening to that guitar part over and over, coming up with parts, I, I think I've got a pretty good idea of what I'd like to do. Um, but I ended up straying a little bit and found some really cool sounds with a reverb effect uh, on the guitar that I think could add some awesome atmosphere to this song. So I'm just gonna fiddle around with that for a bit. Something like that. I don't want to overuse it. Again, I, I come up with some ideas that I initially think are really cool, but the tendency is to overuse the cool idea. You don't want it to wear out its welcome. You want the cool idea to make its point and then maybe show up again a little bit later on or something, but um, you know, something like this, I, I could see myself overusing it and then it would just become a gimmick. It would just be stupid. Oh hey, just doing a bit of light reading. Actually, I was thinking that it would sound cool to have a sound other than a snare drum. I've been debating that for quite some time now. Uh, from the beginning, I was thinking that I would come in with just kind of a standard drum beat for the song. The more I think about it, I really want, you know, my drum set to come in after the first chorus. Anyway, what I'm gonna do, I've got a couple of books, and you'll have to excuse my voice, I have a cold, so it's like nasally. Um, so I've got a few books here, and I want to record the sound of them slapping the concrete here in my basement. Now I'm not trying to be all artsy and all cool, um, 
behind the scenes, I would hope that when you hear the song, you don't even know what the actual sound is. And I want you to know that it's like, you know, the sound of a book hitting the floor or anything, but I really do want to see if I can find a sound other than a snare drum for the uh, intro of the song and the verse and that first chorus. Where's Waldo? Quite a different sound. The Diary of Anne Frank. And I think we can finally find a good use for Twilight. And his name is John C. <laughs> All right, so I've got a couple of other sounds like this that I want to try to use. I think it has some potential. I will mess with that in the next video when I mix the song. So against my better judgment, I have decided that I will record some vocals right now. I'm sick, so this, this is not going to be the final vocal take or anything. This is just going to be for the purpose of seeing if the ideas that I've had so far are going to work. I have a, uh, I've jotted down some lyrics in, uh, on a Google document. And the title of the uh, song right now is Song About Nostalgia. So it's this idea that I've had forever um, of just how I still feel kind of like I'm a kid at heart. I still act like a kid in a lot of ways. Uh, I still love like a lot of the things that I loved as a kid, like Nintendo, Otter Pops, you know, riding a bike in the summer, just like those kind of things. I still love doing that kind of stuff. So. Um, I'm writing a song about that, and it's, I'm trying to keep it kind of abstract. I'm not probably going to come right out and say something like, I like riding bikes in the summer or anything, but I did kind of want a song that reflected on um, kind of the sad feeling that you get when you think about your childhood. The sadness that, that good memories actually can kind of invoke inside of you. I've actually taken a couple of lunch breaks at work and gone out in my car and listened to... Um, some of the original piano recordings I had of the song and tested out some of these vocals and, and these lyrics and things. It's just not set in stone. I just don't. This is the hard part. This is the hardest part of writing a song. I can, I feel like I can write a pretty good song instrumentally and I can make it sound pretty cool. Um, but if you mess up the vocals, if, if you don't have a catchy melody, melody? If you don't have a, a good, unique melody, the lyrics, the lyrics can kind of be whatever, like they don't have to be phenomenal lyrics, but if your melody is just super cliche and super, like, everyone's heard that melody before, or it just doesn't sound inspired, then it can make the awesome instrumentals that you have sound stupid. I think I've come up with something that's, that's, that's pretty cool, it's pretty mellow, but I guess we'll find out. The sadness that nostalgia brings Soft and subtle thoughts that make my eyes glazed Can't focus what's in front of me My mind fixated on a younger me I think I wanted to do My My mind fixated on a younger me Can't focus what's in front of me my mind fixated on a younger me. I'll be a little bit less nasally sounding when my nose isn't like, you know. The chorus, I'm thinking I'm going a little bit higher, you know. So, <laughs> I'm not even going to try the chorus right now. I turn my head away from where No My breath falls short of topping off my lungs I don't want to do that I'm Trying to avoid being 
cheesy or corny or predictable, which is hard to do. It really is. Like, to be straight up honest, this song almost goes through the same four chords that most every other song in the world goes through. And that's why I'm trying to do some unique things with it. That's why, like, that's how the rhythm is kind of what will set it apart. I think the tone of the vocals and the melody and the lyrics will help set it apart. I think the guitar that I've already recorded um, will help set it apart and make it feel like its own song. So that's what's going on in my head right now in the recording phase of my writing process. I'm starting to see how things are fleshing out and I really do like the, the tone of the song and the feeling of the song. And I think the feeling of the song instrumentally makes the point that my lyrics are going to be making as well. Just kind of a happy sadness. You might think otherwise. You might be hearing this song and being like, Pfft, that song's stupid. That's fine. I don't care. <clears throat> so I'm just out in my car on my lunch break right now, and I've brought the lyrics with me. And I think I've come up with something that will work for the chorus. Again, this is the melody that I'm really having the hard time with. So the key really has been that I recorded the majority of the instrumentals for the song and now I can, you know, listen to them and come up with the rest of the song. A couple days later, back in the car again, writing lyrics, I've got the verses all ironed out and the chorus is ironed out. It's just that bridge that I'm having a little bit of trouble with. I've taken some notes, jotted some things down. I've got a piano app on my phone so I can hit notes and figure out what those notes are exactly so that I write those notes beneath the words. <coughs> okay, so it's 11.41 in the evening time and I am going to record vocals. I'm still sick, I still have a cough, so I'm gonna run through it a couple of times. I'm probably gonna make some mistakes because I don't even know the lyrics very well. <coughs> Oh, bring me back to consciousness. Consciousness? Like, whatever. I watch the snow fall. I don't even have the metronome on. The sadness that nostalgia brings. Soft and subtle thoughts that make my eyes glazed. Can't focus what's in front of me. Mind fixated on a Breath falling short and giving out Topping off its lungs to keep its heart still breathing Collapsing in a feeling down Homesickness for a place I don't call home <coughs> Gosh. Hey, at least I'm not paying for studio time. That's why some of this doesn't wrap up until mixing, because it's really when I sit down with all of the recordings that I've got that I start to realize what the song needs as far as final touches and where it starts sounding awkward or a part that lasts too long and it's like, you know what, that part needs to be shortened a little bit. I watch the snow fall As my mind begins to feel again Bring me back to consciousness The man I can feel the air pushing through its lines Bring me back to consciousness <coughs> That might have been kind of painful for you to listen to in some parts. I know I wasn't hitting all the notes right. I do have a cold and that is contributing a little bit to it. I'm also not the most fantastic singer in the world. I think I've got enough to work with. I've recorded three takes, so yeah, let's dive into mixing with what I've got there. And I may need to completely redo the vocals, maybe by then I'll know the words a little bit better. Time to do some drums. First I'm gonna just mess around for a little while, uh, listening to the song and kind of figuring out exactly what I want to do for drums. I've got a pretty good idea now I've, after listening to the song so many times. And Anyway, I'm just going to start playing it and we will see what works and what does not work.
Yeah, this song has undergone a lot of changes since I started recording. That's part of my writing process. As I start recording and hearing the parts, my mind changes on what I want to do from like what I thought I wanted to do. Changes for the better, I would hope. Even though my audio interface allows me to use four microphones, I currently only have one, and so what I'm gonna do is, this is gonna be interesting, I'm gonna record all of my drum pieces separately. So play the entire song doing just the snare, and play it again, recording just the kick drum, etc. So that will be interesting. That was a long video. Sorry guys, there was... You would not believe how long it took me to edit that and put that all together. Anyway, thank you for watching this. I am so excited to finally start mixing this song and see how everything's gonna turn out. I still have to uh, record the guitar part for that uh, the bridge. I'm hoping when I start listening to the song a lot more with the drums and everything that I've recorded and the vocals, I'll get more ideas for that. So thanks for supporting and, and I hope that this has been like a helpful series for you to watch. 